Hello and welcome to Watkins Glen in the USF 2000. This will be my second race in this car, and I'm very excited because I love Watkins Glen as well. And uh, my first race in the in the USF was a, a lot of fun. So, I'm thinking this should be a pretty good race. Really looking forward to it. Uh, had some decent times in practice. This uh, this new car is definitely coming a lot more natural to me than that uh, new touring car. But uh, I have been making progress in that one as well. But uh, this one just kind of has clicked with me a little bit quicker, I think. Though so we'll see if I make a bunch of terrible mistakes during the race and I backtrack backtrack on that statement. But it is new Watkins Glen, the nicely updated version. So everything's looking all bright and fancy and new. So that's cool. My second time uh, at New Watkins Glen as well. Seems like the curbs a little more uh, are a little more forgiving now, or at least that's uh, seems that way to me, particularly through the chicane. And we do have the boot, which is a little bit different than uh, you know what the NASCAR configuration looks like. So you run this little section over here. Which is kind of weird because there's a NASCAR Cup Series sign right there, even though the NASCAR Cup Series does not come through this portion of the track. <laughs> Seems like, uh, I don't know, kind of strange, but... Either way... We're coming up on our... First qualifying lap. Hopefully I'll be able to hit my marks. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Can't go uh, wide there anymore. You'll get an off track. That's the difference with the new Watkins Glen. Even though it's still paved out there, you can't go. You can't go out there. So that's something to keep in mind. I mean, you can, but you're gonna get an off track, <laughs> and especially during qualifying, you don't want that. So. Oh, I hit that curb way too hard. Oh man, I, t I got way too much curb there. That was not good. So you can use the curbs up more, but this car is so low to the ground, it's not so much a good idea. You can get a little bit, but not that much. I just completely hit too much curb. I think really didn't ruin us, really. It really lost us some time, but at least I didn't crash, because that could have been much worse. Make our way through here. This isn't a very good lap. Unfortunately, I'll have to try to pick it up next lap. So I really uh, I kind of botched it in the chicane. The car can get really light through there because I think you want to shift into second and uh, it can kind of get a little weird. So you gotta be careful of that. Heading through there. Not a good lap at all. I really messed that one up. Let me see if I can do a little better this time. That was a whole second off my best. P3, your lap time was 150.4. Not even quite sure what went wrong there. I just kind of like underdrove several of the corners and then I really messed up the chicane, which really hurt us combination of things I think made that lap not so good. Let's see if we can do it better this time. Oh, that was a little better. Still not my best attempt through there, but Mess that up a little bit. Man, I'm not doing so good. My practice laps were so much better. 
I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Just, uh, I've had a couple of dud laps in qualifying, unfortunately. Yeah, I gotta remember that uh, you can push this thing a little bit harder than you might expect. It does turn pretty well, so... That's, be that's better than last lap, but still not very good. Bummer, I'm going to have to do some passes this race, I think. Or maybe I'm slow. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, from ninth to 8th, not even that great. That was really bad. Chicken flag, chicken flag. I know I can do better, at least. Is that the worst of people qualified? No. Not quite, but... Wow. I'm disappointed with that. Let's see, what would my best time have gotten me? Because I did the 30 minutes of practice ahead of time. Kind of just learning, so my best was 149.2. That would have had me 6th, as of right now. So I guess not too much higher. But man, that was, uh, curious. These curves are kind of crazy, though. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do the race in the race, so... Uh, Tenth, huh? I will say, last time, even though I did very well in my debut race, I was very happy with how I did. I did check later, and it was the worst strength of field road race I have ever done. <laughs> Period. And that was, uh, well, that made me feel a, le a little less confident on my pace. I didn't realize that uh, strength of field was so low on it. So, um. Assuming this is a little bit higher of a strength of field, we might have a, a little rougher time keeping up, especially if the qualifying lap's gonna put us in 11th. Holy cow. I'm gonna go ahead and hop out. We only got about 30 seconds anyway. I kinda wanna look at the times people were throwing down. Get this prepared for later. Go. Yeah, so we're a little lower than mid-pack with that time. Best would have had us 149.2. About 6th. Or 7th, rather. Huh. Interesting. Well, we'll just try to be safe. Do our very best. I don't know. That's the end of the Sting ratio or anything to change in these cars. I moved the brake bias down a little bit more to, to maybe try to prevent... Uh, I don't know, locking the brakes up. I don't even know if that helps or not. I don't know anything about brake bias. One left to green. In terms of, uh... Pit road is closed. In terms of road racing. Like, how much it helps. How much you even want to be messing with it, but... I thought I'd just do it a little bit. It was like 1%, so I don't even think it's going to make a difference, but... We do get a fast repair in this series. That's good to know. And, uh, it's a rolling start. I remember the rolling start last time was a bit of a handful. Seems like road series tend to struggle to do rolling starts. So, um, you don't... <laughs> the survival doesn't begin with turn one. It kind of begins as soon as the car starts moving. So that's interesting. I'm excited, but nervous. I just want to survive the first bit of the race. Maybe get some space between us and other people so we can both start focusing on making it through. Um, gonna do everything I can to avoid being side by side through anywhere like the, uh, the chicane. Don't want to be two, two by two, or uh, whatever, through there, side by side. Don't want that. Hmm. Number one's real fast, 147, eight. holy cow. It's almost a second up on P2 qualifying. It's wild. Alright. Should be moving here in a moment. Just, uh, I think uh, the, my biggest risks this race are going to be the chicane. Because, you know, 
that uh, those curbs can really, really hurt you. And then also that corner where you go into second. You know, at the end of the the boot, when you kind of go into second and drive off from there. I think that spot there could be dangerous potentially, because the car gets pretty light. So, all right, here we go. Maybe here we go. <laughs> Got Star Wars in front of us. Never seen a Star Wars movie. Probably one of the only people on the planet who has not. There's a lot of movies I need to see, <laughs> for that matter. Uh, pacing real slow. We're really far back from the pace car. They did that last time as well. I don't know if there's a reason that's a thing that is done in the series, hanging so far back from the pace car. But uh, it's not the first time I've seen this, so... I guess that's a thing the pole sitters like to do. So I guess we're just gonna crawl around Watkins Glen. Gotta do a whole pace lap. That'll take ages. Yeah, look look at that. It's like a whole straightaway ahead. Weird, I wonder if it's because they, they're hoping to get a really big jump or something. They want to trap as many people in that final turn before they start, I guess, as they can seems a little I don't know tricky mm -hmm. <laughs> curbs even pretty bumpy and pacing Just muted or no? People are just queuing up and not saying anything, I guess. If you're talking, we can't hear you there, Becker. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what to say. Doing this long, decades long pace lap, and uh, it's not like I have enough experience in this car to be like, yeah, I know whenever you. Uh, get the tires warm you want to do this and that and this and that I don't know I still have a lot to learn before I can start talking about what I what I come to expect from the race and what I'm gonna be watching out for so I'm just gonna take my general road racing uh, methods you know just keep it on the track best I can and be consistent and give plenty of room just gonna do my normal stuff and see uh, what we can get out of this. I'm hoping that uh, we can move forward in the race. I think we can. I think we can finish better than we started. I think that might be the goal. Finish better than when we started. Don't wreck. Finish better than where we started. He's to the race, I think, for us. We are just at a crawl. We're going like 30 now. I guess we gotta be ready to go a little earlier than we normally expect. Because uh, this thing's gonna go green well before it normally would if we're this far back. <sighs> they couldn't have let us start like halfway through this course before we got started. Holy cow. We go. About to go green. Stay focused. Ready. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. All right. I guess that was the start. Fifteen minutes left. That's fifteen minutes. You were. 
Got to get back into the uh, into the rhythm. Felt like I was snoozing that whole pace lap. This is gonna be sketchy because I don't think they're gonna be wanting to go too wide through here. Alright, we made it. Oh, okay. Feeling pretty good. Really, it's slowed down for that corner. Holy smokes. Love it on lap one. Got guys making, uh... Welcome to USF, brother. Weird moves on lap one, I guess. Whoa, that guy's wide. Although I think you can do that here. I don't think that's an off-track. Hello? Hello, with you. People with very I different braking points than me. Kind of had to hit the brakes pretty hard yeah. there. Oh, goodness. Oh, that guy's spun. Alright. So, where are we now? I don't quite know. So we started, uh... 11th, I think. You're in the top 10. Oh! Whoo! Okay. <laughs> that was scary. That really snapped on that guy. Oh, I was following that guy. I was not paying attention where I was on the track. That was not how to do that. <laughs> Gotta pay attention more. I don't want to do this. Got it, like on the right. Oh, we got a uh, accident ahead. Sounds like, or maybe uh, they got it going. Maybe that uh, fifth place guy up there is who they were talking about. I don't know. Clean off my visor a bit. Glad I have a hotkey for that. A little, uh, those little smudges bother me more than they should. That dust and debris that gets on the visor. I'm gonna just step behind here. Not sure how I'm gonna pass. I could have taken that a little harder. All right, man, it feels like it's been an eternity because this is a uh, pretty intense. But we're only uh, now on lap three. Got a little bit of space around us, though. That's cool. We got uh, you know, just a bit of room in front of and behind us. That draft really uh, is getting us up there. <clears throat> Gosh, those curbs are harsh. Feel like we navigated that okay though. Just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Keep up with this green screen car up here. And, uh, we should be all right. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. I think I can push through there a little bit harder too, because you are allowed to. Slow car on the left. Slow car on the left. Going sideways a little bit. I gotta be careful. 
Oh, some debris on the track. Watch out. That's a slow, broken car. Oh. Oh my god. Guys, I'm entering the pit. Why are you guys trying to let burn? Come on, let's I made a good decision there. <laughs> I saw that he was broken and I knew he wasn't going to be able to turn the thing. So I chose the inside even though I knew he was going to be pitting. And uh, sure enough. Pushes out to the left. Thankfully we made it by. The guy behind us did not make it by, by the way. I don't know if you saw that in the rear view, but there was uh, destruction. That was scary. Oh, that feels so much better when you don't kill the curb through there. Carousel's pretty fun in this car. I love how this thing like sticks. It sticks so so well whenever you're making it through a corner. It's like it's so grippy. Thanks for some real fun road racing. Thank you. Push through there a little harder that time. Yeah, that's good stuff. Catching up to green screen a little bit. Thank you, bro. Push through there a little bit harder. Okay. Getting more comfortable. Um, still not hitting like my best laps. I guess I'm just being extra careful, maybe even subconsciously. Subconsciously being more careful through the corners than I was during practice, where you know you can kind of go all out. So, again, that's just another thing with the comfort level. The more comfortable I get, the more I'll be able to actually push the car a little bit more, and then you know maybe uh, we're being more competitive. But uh, for now, I'm very okay with you know finishing the race at least. sides on the curbs there a little bit. That probably wasn't very safe, but we made it. What time we got? We got six and a half minutes. Nah, don't do that, man. That's so fucking dangerous, bro. You've been a weapon in the past two races. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Fighting. <laughs> they have a history. Don't cut my nose, it won't rag. How about that? <laughs> that that might have been too wide there. I don't even know if that was that much better to do that wide, but yeah, a little bit of experiment uh, experimentation doesn't hurt too much as long as I'm not crashing myself. Fun race. Oh, wow. He's. <laughs> he really doesn't want me to be drafting off him. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> wow, that was like a very dramatic <laughs> break of the draft. He, like, swerved to the right. Man, that draft really pulls you, though. I guess I don't blame him then. Had to lift off. I'm not gonna. Not going too through, too wide through there. Am I okay with losing a little bit of time by lifting off instead of crashing myself through the chicane? Not skilled enough for that. I did get some nice practice doing it though in uh, the open session uh, before the race. I was side by side with a guy for like an entire lap. It was pretty crazy. 
that was some good uh, that was some good experience. I enjoyed that. He's going defensive. Interesting. This uh, back and forth is just going to make us slow, unfortunately. Ooh, he gets like sideways. Uh, I just I gotta pick and choose my spots here. That was poorly done. I missed the angle on that pretty bad because I was thinking about where he was located. He gets on that curb real bad. I'm gonna go outside. Whoa! <laughs> and we're gonna be inside, and then outside again. So that's how S's work. Oh god, he's so close to my bumper. Alright, I didn't. Uh, Alright, he's gonna do it. I hate you for doing that to me. <sighs> So I was patient and didn't do that to him, but he's going to do it to me. I'm not even going to play that game. Not in the race. Maybe in practice. Not in the race. So we're faster, but it seems like uh, when we get by him, he's just going to catch back up to us because of draft. Unless we uh, happen to pass him at the right part of the track and get some distance first. Overdrove that. A bit. He was wide. How about W? Whoa! He got track? He lost a lot of speed all of a sudden. This could be our chance to pull away. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Get away from him. Get out of that draft range. I don't know how long the draft range is. It's probably pretty long. I can definitely push harder. I should be pushing harder than I am. He's gonna catch right back up. He's gonna dive it in on the, in the chicane, isn't he? Is that what's gonna happen right now? Please tell me I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. I don't think he has enough draft to catch up to me. I bet he wishes, though. Uh, I feel like that's the first time I've been able to take the chicane this uh, race without having to worry too much about something else happening. I didn't even do it that well, either, because he caught up to me through there. Oh, a little wide. That was almost bad. Glad I felt that before it was too late. Ugh, tires almost feel less grippy now. Maybe I'm not faster than this guy. Maybe this guy's better than me. Now I was the one keeping up because of draft. Because he's closer now, he's gained a little bit of time. It only means that that uh, draft is going to get more real. A little, uh, cut that a little bit much there. Oh boy, white flag. Alright, so we're going to have to try to keep this spot. But uh, he's going to have that draft now. Alright, we're currently sitting at 0x. Let's hope it stays that way. Okay, Colton, you've got half your fuel left. Interesting, they have half fuel still. They didn't, like, put the correct amount of fuel in it or something for the fixed setup. It's weird. 
Point six, please don't catch up to me like a rocket. Don't wreck. Oh, I messed up the chicane so bad. Still there. Fight, fight, fight. Stay on the left. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. Oh my gosh, I've almost thrown away this spot. Man, I was thinking too, I'm like just don't mess up the sh mess up the chicane, and then what did I do? Messed up the chicane. It's almost like if you try to take the, the chicane softer, it's it messes you up. I should have just taken it at the same rhythm. Ooh. Oh man, it's not turning. Yikes. Go, go, go. Come on. Well, that was a pleasure Whew. racing with you, bud. That was a good time. Nice job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great race, guys. Number 14, that was a lot of fun. Whew. Yeah, it was a lot of fun there. Too. There's the flag. It's over. I hope he thought so too. I hope uh, I raced him well when he felt so. Seventh place, all right. So a little more realistic for my experience level, I think. To uh, better, I think I got like third last time. That was just so much better than I should have been doing <laughs> for my skill level. So uh, yeah, it was a great race with the 14. I hope he uh, feels like I raced him respectfully. Was, uh, I thought he did a pretty good job. I questioned the uh, chicane move there, but you know, not very many laps left, so. We survived, so I uh, I did what I needed to do. I said uh, I wanted to get, you know, maybe a top ten, just finish better where I started, and that's what we did. Passed some people, got some great experience, and got to uh, have a fun run at Watkins Glen. Really enjoyed it, and our zero X, of course. So that's uh, that's feeling good. So nice race. All right, yeah, I agree. You too. It's great fun. Hope I gave plenty of room. Yeah. Alright, so let's see uh, the incidents. Didn't seem like there were too many, but uh, that was just in my experience. Oh, it's a little bit loud for some reason. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, what am I doing? I'm paying attention to too many things at once. So we just got a blinking guy there. Ooh, that seemed like a lot of net code was involved with that one. They were really close, but... Uh... Huh. I don't know. That one's hard to pin on anyone. That's just unfortunate. Kind of ended up in the same spot. Lots of blinking in this race, looks like. Accidents. I remember running past the uh, debris there. Sorry, I'm like spacey right now. Oh, right. Yeah, this was that spot. It really was scary because, you know, I'm coming up on him. And I know I know he's damaged. So I have to make a decision here. Like, all right, is he going to slow it down enough to stay on that bottom? Or is he going to be unable to turn properly and slide up the track? And I saw he had a broken left front. So I'm like, there's no way at that speed he's going that he's going to be able to make that turn. So I'm like, all right, I'll come down here. Maybe I would uh, would have still made it if I gave him plenty of room up there, but at least I survived. This guy tried to follow me through, I think. Yeah, that's tough. Hmm. Huh. Just a bad situation. A couple of things different guys could have done a little differently there, but that's easy to say in retrospect. No, oh, I've overdone that. There we go. I overdid it a little bit. 
We got close racing here. That blue and white. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that blue and white just came up off the bottom too much. If you're going to be too wide through there, you have to stick to the bottom, and they did not do that. And I think that broke the right front and suspension, or if anything, just sent them straight and uh, broken. That sucks. What we got here? We got draft, and wow. <laughs> I don't think that draft helped much at all, because I swerved the whole time. Whoa, look at those curves, just eat them up. Gonna be too wide heading into this corner. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Was showing the blink out, but I wanted to see how this went anyway. Hey, that was a pretty nice move. Did the crossover, but uh, fortunately crossed over right into the non-preferred line into the next corner. Absolute dive bomb with the Red Bull. Stop me if you've heard that before. And that's it. All right, I'm happy with that. P7 out of 18. So just a bit above mid-pack. Number four, finished seventh in a car that this is only my second race. So I am very happy with that. I really enjoyed that race. It was a lot of fun. Um, cars are a bit slow, maybe, for Watkins Glen. But not overly so, where you're just bored, unless it's the pace lap, where you're going 30, because that took an age and a half. But yeah, very fun. Got ourselves a 0x, top 10, 7th. Got my goals finished that I had put for myself, and uh, another uh, successful USF 2000 race in the books. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed racing, so I'll see you next time.